Hello, uh, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you what is a complex number, okay? And how to represent a complex number in Cartesian form. So, uh, I want to introduce what is complex number. So, as you know that the square, uh, you must know that the square of any real number, the square of any real number, okay? The square of any real number, you will produce a, a, a positive number, right? Any number, if even a negative two, if you square, you will still produce a four. Okay, you will get four. So, or you said uh, square root of five. If you go and square, this is also a real number, right? If you study real number before, this is also a real number. So, when you square the real number, you will still get five, right? Get five. Or a fraction of negative one over three. If you square, no matter all the real number, when you square either positive or negative, you will get a uh, positive number, all right. Uh, you will get a uh, uh, one over nine. You see, you will get all the positive number. But this is for a uh, real number. Real number. When you square, you will get a positive number. It's always positive. Can you see that? Uh, this is real number. So let's talk about the different type of numbers. Uh, a different of types of number which is more advanced compared to the uh, whole number, natural number. Uh, so as you learn until now. Pre-university, you learn until uh, real number, right? So now we're going to introduce what is mean by complex number, okay? Complex number, for example, uh, if I have a number like this form, okay? Not, uh, I, I don't know, alright? Okay, let's go for the simple one. Let's say square root of negative 1, okay? If you square. So what happens when you square root of a negative 1 is square? So you will get negative 1, right? Can you see that? Ah, so you square of something, you get negative. Right? Uh, so, or you said square root of negative 4. You square. Square root and square. By index law, you will get negative 4. Right? As you learned before. So, why? Why is this? Is this true? Can you square something to get a negative number? Yes, of course it's not true. Okay? It's not true. But, mathematician try to make this number usable. Usable. Which we name, if you square a number, and you get a negative number, that type of number we name it is not a real number, it's not means that square root of negative one and square root of negative four is not real are not real number. Are not real number. Are not real numbers, but and there is a name imaginary number. Alright, uh, we introduce a new number which is Imaginary numbers. What is imaginary number? All right, imaginary number they introduce by introduce that uh, the square root of negative one to be i, right? Uh, to represent in the form of i. So means that we try to use this number even though this number is you, know, you square of this number you get negative one, right? Uh, it's impossible that you square a number you get negative one. But this type of number we have a name called imaginary number. Alright, imaginary number. For example, this one, uh, square root of negative 4. Right, square root of negative 4. Uh, we can write in the form of imaginary, in terms of i, how? We can write it it's like 4 times with negative 1, which we break into square root of 4 times with square root of negative 1. So, square root of 4 is a real number, right? It's a real number. You get 2, whereas this one is i. So, we put i all right 2i means that square root of negative 4 now we are defined for square root of negative 4 which is an imaginary number with the form of 2i all right so okay that is how this is what uh, we, we 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 talk about imaginary number okay imaginary number so okay let's look at uh, some example that you haven't learned before during your uh, form 5 okay for example that is there are there are equations which have okay. Let's talk about quadratic. Well, let's talk about quadratic. Quadratic. As when you learn quadratic, you got learn three types of roots, right? One is uh the two different real roots, the ones that have two equal real roots, right? And the last one that you learn during your form five is uh the b square where the discriminant is less than zero. Uh, this type of case, always the teacher will tell you that this is a complex root. 
or uh, the quadratic equation have a imaginary roots or oh, what it means right so for example if i have x square minus 4 equals to 0 x square minus 4 equals to 0 ah this you will have three roots where you can solve by factorizing right you can solve by factorizing this quadratic where you will get uh, 2 negative 2 and x equals to 2 we should have two roots that satisfy this equation means that this is the roots of this equation where if you put inside here negative 2 square 4 minus 4 it gets 0 2 square minus 4 also 0 that is a root that satisfies this equation but there are types of quest uh, okay there are types of equations such as x square plus 4 equals to 0 this is impossible to find the value of x that can satisfy this equation means to find a real number a real number that can satisfy x to get zero right no matter what number you put negative two square you still get positive any real number when you put you get positive so when you add up it's impossible to get zero so we said this no roots right no solution usually we will say no solutions right ah when we want to find real roots then we said no solution but now mathematics have advanced right we have already introduced imaginary number so this can be solved okay we can just uh, do this way x squared equals to negative 4 negative 4 and square all right if you square root both sides okay you move the square go there you will get square root of negative 4 with plus minus right plus minus so positive negative means if you square okay negative 4 if you square you get negative 4 because the root the square root will get away so if a negative or square or negative 4 if you square you will still get negative 4 negative 1 square you get positive and square root hilang you get negative 4 so it means there are two possible answer right ah but this is not a real root ah, this is not a real root why because you square you get a negative number so it means that okay you look at this you have plus minus square root of negative 4 just now what you get square negative 4 you break it to 4 times with negative 1 which you get 2i right ah now this is the imaginary roots means that this quadratic equation have imaginary roots which your b square minus 4ac is less than 0 you can check if you want so you try if this is what's your a in this case x square plus 0x plus 4 do you still remember the general form of a quadratic your ax square plus bx plus 4 so your a is 1 and your b is 0 and your c is 4 so if you use the discriminant you will get 0 square minus 4ac uh, so you will get a number that uh, negative 16 which is less than 0 which have proven that this equation have imaginary roots okay now uh, let's look at another example i uh, try to introduce uh, you to know more about imaginary roots okay or uh, i will tell you later what is mean by imaginary roots and complex number so for example now if i have x square uh, x square minus 2x plus 9 equals to 0 so student when using calculator they will find out that the roots that shown in the calculator they have i right if you use the latest calculator you will get an i which is actually imaginary roots so uh, how to check because we can see that your a is 1 your b is negative 2 and your c is 9 so if i use b square minus 4ac i will negative 2 square minus with 4a c i will get 4 minus with 36 which is negative 32 clearly you get a negative number for the b square minus 4, which is less than zero oh so this for sure you will get an imagined number which this quadratic during form 5 form 4 you cannot solve you cannot solve but now we can solve but the solution of the roots of course is not a uh, is a com is an imaginary roots or complex roots it's not a real roots okay so now let's see uh 
Alright, you can apply this formula, the factorization formula. So uh, the negative b square minus 4ac. Do you still remember this? Oh, I think you are very powerful in applying this formula. Alright, so let's see if you have x equals to negative b, your b is negative 2 plus minus b square. b square minus 4ac over with 2a. So let's see what will happen. Okay, of course this will be get positive 2. We don't use calculator, okay, so that you can enjoy the mathematics here, right? So uh, you get 4. 4 minus 36, right? 4 minus 36 over with 2. What do you find out? Something happened, right? Kalau dulu you buat ini, you akan kata, Cikgu, cikgu, tak boleh lah. Itu punca dalam ada negative calculator bagi undefined, mad error. Uh, cikgu tak beritahu kenapa sebab you masih form 5 lagi. Okay, so sekarang you sudah tahu kenapa. So, plus minus uh, square root of negative 32. Adoi, you get negative 32. Cannot. Teacher said cannot. But now, can. We still can further explain because you have advanced. So, negative 32 is actually 16 times 2 times with negative 1, right? Uh, we break it. Okay? So, see, let's see what you get. You will get uh, x plus minus square root of 16. You will get 4, right? Four. And square root of 2 is square root of 2 is a third. And the square root of negative 1 here, the square root of negative 1 here is i. I. Oh, sorry, this is 2. So over bit 2, which at last you will get 2 plus minus 2 square root of i. Can you see that? Uh, in your life until now, you maybe haven't solved this type of equation, right? Which will give you this type of number. Which you will get 2 minus 2 square root of i. And, and x equals to 2 plus 2 square root of 2i. What is this? What is this? So weird. Okay, now you're, not, you feel not, you're feeling not surprised already because why? You know there is a number we call as complex number. Complex number, very easy. Okay, I'm going to introduce what is complex number. Complex number is a number that can be written in the form of... Right? Uh, so, complex number is a number that can be written in the form... We usually use the Dragon Ball Z. The Z here, okay? The Z here, in, which is A plus BI. Complex number can be written as a combination of real numbers. Uh, a combination of real numbers and imaginary numbers. Okay? Uh, imaginary numbers. So this number very powerful, which include all the types of a number. It can be real number, it can be imaginary number, or it can be both. For example, if I said 3i, 3i is an imaginary number. Uh, so because 3i is equals to 0 plus width, 3i, a plus bi. Yes, it's a complex number. And it's also an imaginary number. So, if I said 4, yes, 4 is a real number. <coughs> but 4 is also an imaginary number. Why? Because you can write as 4 plus 0i, right? It's also a complex number, ma. a plus bi. Okay, a plus bi. So, your a is 4, right? So, means that what can, you con what, what, what can you make the conclusion? Means that the real number or the real number is a complex number actually. Alright? So if you see that, uh, okay, for example, 2 minus 3i. Yes, this is a combination of real without the i and the imaginary number. This is called a complex number. Okay? A complex number. So simple. A complex number is a number that in the form of A plus BI, combination of real number and imaginary number. Okay, uh, let's look at the next lesson.